today in this session I will explain question number three of exercise 6.4 it is also very very easy find the square root of 2.56 now you see the numbers are in decimal form so when you're doing this okay the first thing that you have to do is you have to convert 2.56 into the fractional form so what is the rule for that we have to check that how many digits are there after the decimal there are two digits isn't it so we'll put 100 in the place of denominator now individually we have to find we have to do the prime factorization of the numbers that is first we'll start with 256 so two ones this number is divisible by two as because the last digit is even number so two ones are two two is a four two is a sixteen Six is a twelve. Four is a eight. Two thirty two is a two sixteen is a two eight is a two four is a two two is a two two. Okay. So let's do. Let's write it down like this. So write all the factors of two fifty six. That is one two three four five six seven eight. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Isn't it? And what would be the square root of 100? That is 100. We can write 10 into 10. Isn't it? Now we have to pair up. So pair up all the digits. Even the denominators also. Now we know for each pair one number will come out. For this pair, see, 1, 2, for this pair, 1, 2, for this pair, and for this pair, okay? And for the denominators, how many tens are there? There are one pair, so one ten will come out. Now let's multiply it. 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8, 8 to the 16, 16 upon 10. Now give your answer in the decimal form, okay? So the answer would be 1.6. So square root of 2.56 is 1.6. I hope it was easy. Now let's move on to sum number 2. This is sum number 2. 7.29. The same thing we'll do with this one also. The first thing we have to convert this decimal form to fractional form. Now let's do the prime factorization of 729. Now the last digit is 9. It's not even. So it will not be divisible by 2. Let's see whether it is divisible by 3 or not. So let's add up all the numbers. 7 plus 2. What? 9. 9 plus 9. 18. So 18 is divisible by 3. So this number will also be divisible by 3. So let's divide it by 3. 3 2 is a 6. 3 4 is a 12. 3 3 is a 9. This number will be also divisible by 3. 3 8 is a 24. 3 1 is a 3. 327s are 39s are 33s and 3 ones. So let's write it down. How many 3s are, are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What about 100? That is 10 into 10. Now pair up all the digits. Yes. Now for each pair, we know that one number will come up. So this is a required number. For this pair, 1, 3 will come out. For this pair, 1, 3 will come out. For this pair, 1, 3 will come out. And even for even in the denominator also, for each pair, 1, 10 will come out. So 3, 0, 9. 9 3 is a 27. 27 by 10. Now convert this uh, fractional form to decimal form. So this is your final answer. Okay. I hope it was easy. Now let's move on to sum number 3. This is sum number 3. That is 51.84. So let's first convert this decimal form to fractional form is divided by 100. Now let's do 
the prime factorization. It is very very important process, students. Okay, you have to show this. Last digit is four, so it will be divisible by two. So two twos are four, two fives are ten, two nines are eighteen, two twos are four, two ones are two, two twos are four, two nines are eighteen, two six are twelve. 2 6 is 12, 2 4 is 8, 2 8 is 16, 2 3 is 6, 2 2 is 4, 2 4 is 8, 2 1 is 2, 2 6 is 12, 2 2 is 4, 2 8 is 16, and 1. Now this number is not divisible by 2, but it would be divisible by 3. 3 27. 3, 9, 3, 3, and 3, 1. Now let's write all the factors. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 6, 2's are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And how many 3's are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, and 4. And what is the denominator? 100. So we can write 10 into 10. Okay, so pair up. 1, 2, so many pairs are there. Okay, now for each pair, one, one digit will come out. So for this one, for this one, for this. This pair, 1, 3 will come out. For this pair, 1, 3 will come out. Divided by 10. Now, multiply it. 2 into 2. 2 to the 4. 4 to the 8. 8 nines are 72. By 10. Now, convert this. Now, this is your final answer. So, the square root of 51.84 is 7.2. Now, there are two more sum students in question number 3. That is 4 and 5. This you have to do it on yourself. Okay, this is your homework. That is question number three. Sum number four and five would be our homework. Okay, thank you and take care.